In this video I want to talk about keeping the V10 M5 engine alive. You always have to think about the coolant level, you know, I'm checking it. And most importantly, you always have to think about the oil, the engine oil. You must be obsessed about the oil, about how much oil you have. You have to think about the oil temperature. You can't rev up the engine when the oil is cold. Now I'm gonna make a video of the oil temperature indicator. I speed the video 500 times, but I want you to look at the temperature and don't let it get over 2010. You have to think about the oil when you start the engine. Look at the oil temperature. Wait for it to warm up. Once it's warm up, you can enjoy the car, but always Keep the eye on, on the oil temperature. Always check oil level before you turn off the engine. This engine burns oil. If you drive, especially when this car is old and you drive fast, it can it can burn oil very quickly in just one one day. The oil oil level always changes, and you must always maintain the right oil level. Failure to keep this oil level and failure to keep the operating oil temperature will destroy the engine. So here, this is the 500 times speed you can see. This video I, I make, look at the oil temperature at the bottom. It's already 10, 2010 and this is the right level, but if it goes more than that, as it is doing right now, it means you need to stop driving fast, you need to be cruising. You see, it's already, look how much fa more, more than 2010 Fahrenheit the level is, the, the, the temperature is right now. So when you see that, when it gets hot, you can see when I drive slowly now, and the oil temperature goes down again. So always, you must always be obsessed about the oil temperature and always when you drive you need to put your eye on this indicator, the temperature indicator. It, failure to do that, it would destroy this engine. And uh, this car has a dedicated oil cooler. So if the oil cooler is bad, you, your oil will get too hot. And you see this? The, I turned off the engine and for one second, you, uh, now I'm showing it to you again, this is the warning for low oil. It only showed it for one second. I will talk about it soon again. Now, now after you drive the car, I recommend you open the hood and let the heat escape, especially in the summer. It is 36 degrees Celsius right now and the engine is, the, the fan is still working, even though I turned off the engine. So we need, I'm filling it up again. And to be careful not to feel too much. And always have the oil available for you in the trunk of the car. To quickly check the oil level, you hold the BC button here, and then you wait until you get an oil reading. But this way is the less accurate. The manual prefers you to do a 30 minute drive in a cool speed. So, oil level five, that's good. This is the owner's manual for the 2006 BMW M5. In the page uh, 181, under the hood, it tells you how to open the hood and it already, already gives you a warning about performing services without professional training. And uh, the page after that talks about the engine compartment and the engine oil. It says the engine oil consumption is dependent on driving style and 
driving conditions. So it lets you know that uh, the oil is being consumed and if the, if, you, if the oil is low, it doesn't say that here, but the engine will stop. It doesn't give you a big warning that the engine will, will, will be damaged if you don't care about this, if you don't think about it. And now it says your vehicle is equipped with electronic oil level check. And that makes it hard because to check the di oil with the digital oil level, with the electronic oil level, it's, uh, it takes time. You have to get the engine warmed up. It tells you how to do it. After starting the engine, the last determined value is displayed. So even though you just feed the oil, it will not show it to you. Even, so so you, you can make a mistake and thinking you didn't, you didn't put enough oil and you're going to overfill it because it doesn't display it to you immediately. And now it tells you how to get exact measurement. It says the oil level is measured continuously while driving or when stopped with the engine running. The determination of a new value can take 30 minutes or longer. So you see how hard it is. You have to, you have to wait 30 minutes of driving of the engine to be running to check the, to know the oil level. And if it's too low, you can damage it in 30 minutes. And if it's too much, it's also very bad. I had too much oil one time and it, and it just goes into the cylinder and it blocks the uh, spark plugs and you're going to get misfiles or worse. There's a fast measurement option. In addition to the continuous measurement, you can also quickly determine the order, but that, this is also not fast because you need to wait for the operating temperature and you need to drive 10 kilometers of uninterrupted driving. So it, if you're just in a, in a city and there's traffic lights, it's not good. You have to drive without stopping for 10 kilometers. And then you need to park in a horizontal position. So it, the oil is so important in this car. The oil is, if you don't have enough oil, the engine will be toasted. And, and that's why so many V10 M5s uh, had uh, wheel bear uh, rod bearings failures and other failures, the engine, because I'm sure those owners didn't even think about the oil or didn't think about it enough or didn't know what they need to be looking at because it's so complicated. So it tells you how to get fast measurement. You have to get 10 kilometers of uninterrupted driving. You have to then park the vehicle in a horizontal position, allow the engine to run idle while you're parked, and then you need to press the BC button on in the turn signal level repeatedly until the oil level displayed so that makes it so hard. You need to press and hold it for two, for at least two seconds, and then it starts to uh, clock symbol is displayed. So if you go up here, it, it shows you the possible uh, displays. Number one, this is this is good. You have good oil level. Oil level is okay. Number two. 0, 0.0 liters you need to add immediately next opportunity I need to add oil option 3 it's too much oil level too high have the vehicle checked immediately otherwise engine damage may result it's the first time it, te it tells you that engine damage may result if too much oil up until now if you if the score back up it doesn't say about damage so the owner manual is not warning you enough about the damage you can cause the engine if you don't check the oil. But here, after all this on the side, it tells you in, in number three about this display, about the too much oil, it says engine damage may resort. Number four oil level is at maximum. 
Now, number five is what you see, this uh, clock symbol is what you see when you're waiting to check your oil, when you press the BC button. So it takes like a, a minute and then it tells you the oil. So even in the owner's manual, it doesn't, it doesn't give you enough warning about the oil. And, who, and nobody's reading the owner's manual. Like, how many big M5 owners do you think have been the first, when this car was new, how many owners bought the car and immediately turned into this page to read about the oil? And even if they read it, it doesn't even warn them enough. And they probably didn't read all of it. So that's why uh, I'm sure so many V10 M5 engines were destroyed because it's enough that one of the, if you don't, it can, it can happen in one day. You can just drive all day with this car very fast and the oil, when you drive very fast, it will be consumed like it tells you. It tells you here, the engine level, the engine, the engine oil consumption is dependent on driving style and driving conditions. So if you drive very fast all the time, all day, it, the oil will be at the minimum or, or, le or lower. Even if you had full oil in the beginning of the day. And the, the problem that she, it takes 30 minutes to get a good exact measurement. Exact measurement takes 30 minutes. Fast measurement, you need for 10 kilometers uninterrupted driving and you need uh, operating temperature, which is, so if the oil is too cold, you will not be able to get reading, even though you drove 20, 10 So you need, you have two conditions. You have, you need the engine to be warm and you need to drive 10 kilometers and then you can get fast measurement, which is not as good as the exact measurement, which takes 30 minutes of driving. And even in, 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 and it even tells you this can, for example, it says that uh, sporty driving will be problematic to change, uh, to check the oil. So you need to drive normally, like a cool speed for 30 minutes and then you get an exact measurement. In conclusion, this is the low oil warning light. It's only being displayed for one second when you turn off the engine. So you, you will absolutely miss it if you don't look at it. And even if you see it, you will not understand that it means that you must immediately add oil. Having a V10 M5 is like joining an oil addiction club. You need to be addicted to thinking about oil. You need to be obsessed about, about oil in your thoughts. Is it too low? Is it too high? Is it too warm, too cold? Always think about these questions. Because if it's too cold, it's not good. If it's too high, it's not good. You need to be in the exact temperature and it needs to be... The oil must not be too old. The more time you drive the car with the oil, the more fuel is getting into the oil. It's called oil dilution. You can Google it. Google oil dilution. Every car has this problem. The fuel is an enemy of the oil. And oil is a lubricant and fuel is... Uh, I forgot the word. It, 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 it's, the, it's the opposite of lubricant. So, when you have, it's called oil dilution and you need to change the oil every 2,000 kilometers. So, keep, our, keep your eye on this uh, warning, oil low warning. And always, always uh, have uh, the 10W60 oil available to you in the car so you can always fill it up when you need to. And uh, thank you for watching. Keep your M5 alive. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Write your comments below. And thank you for watching.